Cisco SecureX integration with Tetration. Okay, let's go to integrations. We'll go available modules and we should see Tetration application here at the top. The quick start gives you a good explanation exactly what's required. We're going to give these four elements privilege to the API key. So, and they were outlined there in that list. So we go to API keys, we go ahead and select those four elements, sensor management, flow and inventory search, user roles uh, and scope management and application and policy management. Then we go ahead and hit create. Once we do that, we can download the API keys that we have for later on. Um, obviously, you can't see my full key there. Um, that's just to ensure that nobody can use it. Um, and then what we need to do is go to um, uh, authorize the token. So this is for the Tetration and SecureX integration. We apply our Tetration URL, our API key, our API secret, and we create the token. We go ahead and apply it and click save. And that's it. That's integrated, but we probably want to add the dashboards here. So we can see at the top, there's Tetration. There's three available um, tiles that we can add to their dashboard. And we can go ahead and add those in here. And again, like every other example I've done up to now, you could very easily move these around, um, resize them, get rid of the, you know, the left menu and the right news column as well. From Tetration though, let's, I mean, sorry, from SecureX, let's pivot into Tetration. So we looked at the CVS uh, alerts and, and we wanna quickly do a quick search here. Um, and we're gonna look for CVSS version three, attack vector, and very quickly we see all the host names, right? And if we pivot into um, maybe op malware, let's look a little bit around the host here. So we can see traffic volume, we can go in and look at long-lived processes here and you got the parent PID. You see an increase in CPU usage here. Process snapshot. Now this thing's amazing, right? Look at this. It shows you where it might have privilege escalation, a forensic event, has a vulnerability, right? You can play this out. You can click on the, um, the process maybe of interest, right? And it shows you the assigned CVEs available to it. You can see here, we can pivot into uh, vulnerabilities. We can rate these by severity, right? And you can go to network anomalies and you can look at the network and, and how the provider and consumer have been communicating. We can also look at file hash. All of this with the click of a button, right? Here you can see one of my tiles has an error. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm just really trying to, to focus on the integration and how to get it uh, enabled. Maybe in a later video, uh, we'll look at uh, troubleshooting, but anyways, really cool stuff.